Here we have a machine called the Micro Tally. It's quite a rare machine. It was made by Technodyne Inc. in Livermore, California. It came on the market in 1970 and lasted for a little over, over a year. And uh, yeah, then it was displaced by cheap electronic calculators, of course. It's made from plastic uh, or plastic casing. All the buttons and this uh, top part of the casing is just made from one piece of pressed plastic. And uh, the, the inside does have a, a metal mechanism though. You can press a button and the number gets added immediately but you do then have to press enter to finalize the addition. If you enter something and change your mind you can press clear and it will undo that, uh, that number. The re register will return to what it was before. To clear the register, you push down on this wheel and turn it until all the wheels are zero. But uh, you shouldn't really do that if there is a, an addition pending, because if you do that, then uh, yeah, pressing clear will confuse things very much. So yeah, you have to press clear or enter before you really uh, start clearing the dials. You can also do subtraction. If you uh, switch this to uh, the subtraction mode, the register will drop down and reconnect itself through uh, an intermediate gear or something like that. And now you can uh, enter the number you want to subtract. And switch it back to addition to then read out the result. So it's a very simple machine. As I said, it was made by Technodyne, uh, Technodyne Inc. from Livermore, California and patent pending. I haven't been able to find a patent, so I don't know if it was ever patented or if it just, uh, if the application was abandoned because the company didn't exist for very long. This number here, that looks like a serial number, but it seems that all the machines have the same number. So this was the uh, the micro tally by Technodyne Inc. Thank you for watching.